time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, March 13th on a Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing well. SPX has been a Zero DTE premium seller's dream today. Oh yeah, it's been a good day. Needed it. are just under yesterday's close, basically just, just under where we opened the day. Only, uh, let's see, 79 down to 62. It's pretty, pretty tight range. Good day for the TLCers. Oh, yeah. My uh, lunchtime number two, I might just let it expire. I've already booked 60%. It's, it's sitting pretty close to the middle. I got a power hour number one on, and I have not hit 50, uh, 20% yet. So I will feel a lot better when I do that. Yeah, normal day, no premium. So I won't be trading any power hour tranches. But um, here's what I've got so far. So my only loser today was the uh, O2 call calendar this morning. And that was actually a fairly sizable loser compared to you know they're usually plus or minus two or three percent this was a five percent loser so that uh that was my only loser had a uh price action trade hit actually these percentages are not correct i'm working with trade steward when you reduce your contracts it it's not tracking the percentage correctly but uh nice winner there another nice price action winner uh, quiet tranches. I got out of I got out of some of these early, right before the bond auction, uh, just to reduce risk and um, kind of take some chips off the table. But those all worked. Um, my NDX trade is nice and in range. And then these these are listed as PM tranches, but I just manually launched them. They didn't qualify, and these uh, they're just they're just two to one. So I wanted to, I wanted to sell some premium, but I wanted a little bullish bias. So I, I just manually launched my PM tranches. One's up 33%, one's up 24. So those are good. And then, um, in my challenge portfolio, no losers either had one, uh, book 30% and then got stopped out for a profit on the remaining, uh, for both of these, my original one uh, one to one ratio from the from the get go from this morning is still in effect. Uh, sold at nine fifty is trading for a buck, and then I'm also in another three two, which I actually need to reduce right now. Close half, reduce my stop. And I did hit 20% on power hour number one. Yeah, Madam Butterfly, I don't I don't know that I'll enter another power hour trade. I mean, I'm look I'm staring down the barrel of a three and oh and a nice green day. So I don't know that there's a, a need to try to put another one on with the low premium. Today's Wednesday. No Wooga Wednesday. Wooga doesn't play on Wednesdays. My uh, my one and let it run is trading at forty cents. 
and I got filled a 620 on it this morning. I don't think he'd get enough premium to qualify for the Wuga either. They're too low. Look at that at the money, 75, straighten it, three, 370, 275, 370. No, thank you. Yeah, my one to one. I haven't. I have not re-entered discount. It's the same one from the uh, from the opening bell. My original three two did get stopped out after the first profit target, so I've re-entered that. I'm on my third one of those, but my one to one has survived all day. Yeah, I like that uh, one and let it run. It's just low risk. And you know, kind of similar to what I'm doing on my uh, NDX trade. Okay, just put just putting it on at the open. Yep, and letting it ride all the way through. I put this one on at eight forty three Central. Oh, naughty dog! I got something for you. I just got my new batch of uh, bone broth. There's a variety pack that you can get on uh, Amazon. And I'm trying a new um, one today. You know what I am? Um, what I just got it was I got like two weeks. Well, not two weeks. It's probably 10 days worth of meals from Factor. Have you ever heard of Factor? I have not. I got it from the Mahomes's. That's something that they use. So fresh meals, never frozen, delivered to your door. They've been good so far. Yeah, I've got a buddy who owns uh, healthy meals. Same kind of thing. They cook it fresh every night and then deliver it to your door. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one I'm cook. trying today, Naughty Dog, is the coconut curry lime. Ooh, it is good. It is tasty. Yeah, I just got them off. It came in a variety pack with all four from Amazon. Yeah, if you like a little down move. If you like like Thai curry chicken, like green curry chicken at Thai restaurants, it's like drinking green curry chicken. <laughs> it's so good. Don't like this little down move. It's showing right it's now. A little, I was a little startled when I opened it, though, because it's, you know, most of it's just <laughs> liquid. This was a little chunky. So I was, I was nervous that it was, uh, let's see what happened here. I, did I just get stopped? Yeah, I just got stopped out of my three, two. Yeah, it's markets are profit coming down. I was worried about that today. Thought there might be a little action at the end since it didn't move much. It's like it wants to fall. Dow really fallen. Let's get a bounce. NASDAQ holding on. Yeah, I thought I was going to have a profitable power hour trade, but now it's looking like it's going to be a scratch unless we get a bounce. Normally, I probably would put on a power hour number two, but the premium is just awful.
Pretty jumpy. Yeah, I need a little bounce here. <clears throat> yeah. My power trade is definitely testing my short strike to the downside, but just don't think I want to take on any more risk at the moment. Oh, Wooga, bad experience with Factor, huh? Uh, so far, so good here. Uh, the, let's see, discount, double check. That's the, um, somebody, again, we were talking about it Monday. Somebody over the weekend posted the option Omega. One contract. Iron Condor and just letting it, letting it ride all day. Putting us, I use a seventy-five percent stop. Twenty deltas, fifty points wide. I think it's going to pay me about an extra six hundred bucks today. Uh, Tom, it depends on the day. So today, I'm not, I'm not trading power hour at all. But if it's an up day, then I'll do two to one. Check out my trade plan in the trade plans channel. And it'll kind of give you the details with the option Omega links of how I trade the different situations. Yeah, nobody's taking credit for the Naughty Dog for the um, the option Omega back test that was posted this weekend. I don't remember who did it. Somebody posted it. I looked at it. And I was like, oh, yeah, it looks really good. Russell and Dow coming down. Yeah, I was trying to get out of my 5-7 at the end of the day with thinking this thing was going to bounce too. I mean, it's scheduled to come off at the end of the day anyway, but if we would have got a bounce here, it would have been up over 20%. Now it's back down to even. My one, two also was getting close to 10%, did not get filled. Now it's back down to about 3%. Yeah, so the Mahomes is definitely going to be $2 by 10 or 15 minutes till the bell. Now, keep in mind, it's because we've had very little price movement. So if that continues into the close, that wouldn't be good, but it would be nothing to get a five-point move in the last 10 or 15 minutes. So. so I've been doing... So I did a couple things here. I actually... Already started selling a couple. Yeah, E. Allison, I, I posted that. Um, I, I was live streaming when I put it on, so they asked me to put it in the day trading chat channel. But yeah, I can, I can put it in mine. And is, is are, are you taking credit for this discount? Is this yours? Oh, you just recreated it. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, 
That looks pretty good. You can't you can't get any premium earlier in the day, Elliot. Like in the morning, I mean, these things will be trading for thirty cents. Come on, let's get a bounce. Yeah, wider is even worse. So what I did is I sold the 75 call fly and the 70 put fly so far as it's just been kind of chopping around here. Sold one for a buck, one for a buck 20. Well, Naughty Dog, I know you have a sensitive palate. So be careful. Just be careful. Crazy, crazy bone broth world out there. So you're eating liquid? Is that what it is? It's bone broth? Yep. Just chewing on it. What do you mean you chew on it? I thought it was liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bone. It's just bone broth. Just sipping it. Heat it up on the stovetop and sip it. Can you microwave it? I'd prefer not to. Takes the nutrients out, Chad. You didn't know that? You're not turning into one of those environmentalists and stuff, are you? <laughs> I just like to put healthy stuff in my body, Chad. Okay, okay. Hang on. It looks like it wants to flush here. I knew... Power hour might be a little dicey. Yeah, it's going to stop me out my power hour trade. Man, VIX was just getting annihilated until just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Let's hang my, I'm hanging on. Usually when it starts to go like this, it goes. And look at that. Look at that range on the daily chart. It's just like a little speck. Mm-hmm. It needs to remain a speck. At least needs to have the decency to fill me at 40% before it goes any further down. I didn't order at 95 cents to close my last challenge portfolio reentry. It's trading at a buck 55. A little bounce would get it. My remaining positions in this account need a bounce as well. Back up to 75 for preferably.
just a little bounce, a little bounce. All right, I got to think about when I'm going to get out of this five seven. For my back test, should be getting out at 15 minutes until the bell. Really just need a bounce. Yeah, not looking good. I'm about 80 cents away from being stopped. In play would be the 70 straddle for number two, if anybody is brave. Seventy straddle looks real tempting. Hanging around the 70 now. Doesn't look like it wants to bounce. See, did we have any movers in stocks today? Jumia up six percent, BBAI. There's small stocks beyond meat up six. Robin Hood up five, square up five. Baidu up three. SMCI up two. Dollar Tree down 14% after earnings. Tesla down four. Boy, Tesla. Yeah. It's wow. been strong lately. Well, I was trying for the 70 straddle, but could not get filled. Cancel it. Darn it. Some good theta decay just happened. Okay. 
and this day could turn into a great day so I could get a bounce and make this power hour a winner. Russell and the Dow are red or green. Yes, and NASDAQ red. Silver up 3%. Oil up 3%. Natty gas down 3 Bitcoin. Another new all time high today. Really? 74,365. Mm hmm. I'm part of an investment club, and I, I uh, suggested we buy Bitcoin back when it was, I can't remember what we got it for. Like, I think it was, I think it was under a thousand bucks. Anyway, we still have three, three Bitcoins. And really? my, my thing was, I was like, we ha we're not selling this until it hits a hundred thousand. <laughs> and so now, what year was that? Uh, gosh, I don't know. When was it five years ago? Maybe it was down at a thousand bucks five years ago. Uh, that's that can't be right. It had it been longer than that ago? No. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it for the first time at a hundred bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not, not very much ago. of it, but I. That's when I first started buying it. I think I've told told you guys this, but a buddy of mine who lives, he, who now lives in Puerto Rico, he started buying it at ten bucks. He's the one that kind of started talking to me about it. Wow! He cashed out for multi multi millions and millions. Moved his family to Puerto Rico so he didn't have to pay tax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, getting a little bounce, boys and girls. Yes, it's what I need. That is what I need. I cashed out a bunch when I bought my uh, the my current house and property that I live at uh, about five years oh, nice. ago, but I've still got a few with the investment mm -hmm. club, and then I've got I don't know how much not not very much, maybe a couple in my own personal account. Yeah, my brother's got some. Bounce is just what the doctor ordered. I'm still a so buck away 70, from 40%. Got the 75.85 strike and the 75.80. So I need above 75. Man, that 51.70 straddle would have probably paid out by now. So all my challenge portfolio trades are closed, booked uh, a, little, uh, a little under 7,300 in that account today. No losers. That's nice. Nice. The VIC And the VIX was down pre-market, and then it popped up just enough to trigger those to qualify. So that's good. I, was, I thought it was going to be a Rick day. Well, that would have been a disaster. 
would have missed out on all this short premium and lost on Rick. Mm -mm. 70 straddle would have been juicy. Just couldn't. I tried twice to get filled and gave up. Forty minutes to go and you have the money fly trading for about a buck fifty five, buck sixty. Uh no, I'm gonna pass on the two five. I don't I've only traded that a few times. I'm not really that big of a fan of it. Uh, it's not a hundred percent. At least mine's not. Especially if you go back to uh, before 2023, check out the 2022 performance. I mean, you're welcome to trade it, Morrow. Don't don't let me persuade you. It's just the main thing I don't like about it is up here. I mean, look at the look at the Mar and the. Let me bring it down here. Look at the Mar. And the capture rate, I mean, they're so low, you know, it's just, it's, you gotta, and you gotta do a boatload of contracts to make, you know, to, to really do anything. You know, this is, this back test has, is a 50 contracts per trade. It's averaging 35 bucks a lot. So just, just not my thing. Come on, need that bounce. Yeah, fifty one seventy straddle. Yeah, it's hugging that, hugging the seventies right now. Mm -hmm. I really liked it when I looked at it. Price kind of jumping all over the place for there being thirty-five minutes left. Madam Butterfly might have been a good decision to just get out of your power hour and not lose any profits. There we go. 
Back up you go. Had a really good conversation today on a, for a podcast interview with a guy named Mark Anderson, who all may have seen him strolling around the community. His profile is just Mark Anderson. A uh, really good conversation. So that'll be coming out. It's a good one. You guys will like it. I'll get filled at two bucks, La Souza, and then I will, I'll add more if I can get more than two bucks leading up to MOC. Wow. I bet there's going to be some slippage on that one. Holy moly. There it is, boys and girls. There's your action for the day. You've been waiting for it. Look at that. Got the downside expected move. Oh boy, yeah, I took some slippage on those last, I mean, they're small positions, but getting some value out of my long puts now. Not financial juice isn't saying anything. Those two butterflies that sold are going to be nice in good shape. All right, let's see. Now my 5.7 is not in good shape, though. I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Ooh, big bounce too. Uh, 
Uh, my NDX is still in range with that bounce back. Big bounce. What in the world just happened? So I had gotten these two butterflies on in my trader account. Sixty cell for now, probably not very much. Just had to come in and ruin our Mahomes. Yeah, at the money flies only trading for maybe a dollar now. Back down. Madam Butterfly, did you get any early flies on? Or are you waiting? Sitting below 5160 and the 60 fly is trading for, I don't know, it's all over the place, maybe a dollar. No, Eli, if TikTok got banned, market would have been down 20%. Where'd Chad go? Chad, are you here? That volatility pushed Chad off the call. Show him still in Zoom. Uh, sometimes uh, you've, been, you've been silent for a good ever since the flush. Oh, I don't, I don't really? Know if you've said anything? <laughs> no. Yeah. So my longs were worth four dollars. I couldn't get them closed quick enough. Like I literally oh, lost, like I made five grand and then lost it again with all my longs. Oh man. <laughs> I was like trying to get them closed and I couldn't. I got to add some for 45 cents, but. Yeah, I, there was some $4 wow. that I had. Still 25 minutes to go, ladies and gents. Who's ready for uh, entering another one? Who's up for an iron condor straddle? Yeah. Looks pretty juicy right now. Five wide. Yeah, five wide. Let's go. I mean, it is juicy. We didn't know what happened to you. We thought that candle smoked you out. Nah, sometimes that sometimes my Bluetooth just disconnects and I don't know it. it happens in the mornings. Well, that's a bummer. So how how'd you end the day? 
Uh, so I've still got some longs on, so I'm not done, but I'm going to be over four grand. My um, power hour ended up being a hundred minus hundred bucks scratch trade. That four grand could have been, or that if I could have, yeah, that have been a nice little bonus. Yeah. I looked at, yeah, I looked at my PL and it said like, um, $9,500 on that flush down. So I was like scrambling to try to close long. Bounce too quick on you. Yep. Yeah, WMK, it's uh it's in the courses. So if you go to the Z Zero DTE resources channel and you click on that uh navigationtrading.com slash dashboard that'll redirect you to the course platform which is called WAP and all the courses are in there no not worth anything I got filled for some at 40 cents when they were at, they were at four bucks Russell and Dow are still green or bounce back to green. Yeah, it may not it may not do much the rest of the time, honestly. I need to stay below 65 <clears throat> to pin my short butterflies. So if it goes down yeah, to same. 60, I could possibly get filled for a dollar on a call spread and have this left. I'll do that. I'm going to put in the call spread order for a buck. See if it will come down to 60. Just a little dip down to 60 and then you can pop back up.
All right. <clears throat> Let's see, what if I buy put spread? Acting like it wants to rebound. No. I don't want to rebound. No, we don't. I wonder what caused that big drop. And then just a uh, fat finger algo. Something, I don't know. You know, I had a feeling something like that would happen just because it hadn't moved much all day. At the money, 65 fly. Yeah, it's only trading for $1.20. Nice MRP. Uh, I don't have the M1 discount, but I haven't had any issues on Mac, the uh, Intel version. Oh, what a silly bounce. Silly drop and silly bounce. What do you need it to come down to? I need to stay below 65. I need okay. it to come down to 60 to, to fill my order. Still got 15 minutes. Yeah. When it stays below 67, I'll be profitable. So just, uh, this isn't the, <clears throat> this isn't the Mahomes strategy that we talked about in the class, but basically what I did is when price was trading around 75, Back in this area, kind of right right after one o'clock, I uh, I sold a butterfly for a dollar, and then when it came down to seventy, I sold another one at the seventy mid strike for a buck twenty. So I've got a total credit of two twenty, and so now if price will come down to sixty. I should be able to get filled for a dollar on my on this vertical spread, which would create this trade that doesn't have any risk and i've got a couple you know 65 pin would be nice but it would lock in a profit of 600 but i need it down to 60 not up yeah it kind of looks like it just wants to Get back to where it was before the drop, but it 
sure looked like it was going to all time highs when it was just kind of grinding higher. Not today. Well, my challenge portfolio up 72, almost 7,300. My other account down about 500. Calendars. I closed out the remaining 5.7, but I booked a nice profit on three of the five yesterday. So my 1.2 was up almost 10%. Now it's back down to even. I'll just hold that. Till tomorrow. Actually, I got 15 lots through PPI. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sometimes it's best just to stick to the plan, isn't it, White Tiger? Well, since we were all basically out of stuff, just wishing that uh, little continuation would, or that downside would just continued. Yep. Such luck. VIX spiked up to about 1405. Back to yeah, if you were, 13 if you were, handle. If you would have given one more move down, I mean, it really only gave one. That would have really allowed us to close, you know, close some of those longs. Just a little flash crash. Oh yeah, we still got NDX. I mean, you could probably still go up to highs a day, 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, hey, don't put it past getting to all-time highs today. <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes to go. Oh, we should use your F, uh, F MOC here. 75 million sell side. My audio did not tell me. So pretty... Pretty small. Need under sixty five. Thought it was golden on this thing about fifteen minutes ago. There you go. There you go. Come on down. Here we go. Come down to sixty. X getting a little, a little poppy.
Veggie broth. I have had the Pacific Foods beef bone broth. It's pretty good. Yeah, no bones. I need bones in mine. Six minutes to go. Four thousand five hundred eighty is my final number. Nice. And up to just under 17,000 for the month. All right, let's go. A few more points lower. Got five minutes. That down to about two bucks on the vertical. Need a push. One more push. Then you can bounce back up. I've got a iron condor that's on my second count that's dead center right now. Is that your brother's account? Are you still doing that or is, is that yours? Yeah. Yeah. It's my brother's. It's the, I had, I had the 60, 65s for his power hour. Eh, don't come back up. No. Nope. Stay down. Just not going to make this easy. Are you? Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually up sixty five hundred in his account more than mine today. How much is his up for the for the month? Um, what is it? Like twenty five k, better than mine. He's got to be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Easiest money you ever made. All 
All right. I got to stay below 67 back up to my break even. Uh, what are you doing? Come down, come down, come down. PPI pre-market tomorrow. Get back down there. You need below 65 too? Yeah. Well, it'll be dead. It'll be a max. Well, I, got, I only have three contracts of 10 left. So if it, if it hits 65, that's right where my short strike is. Oh, it's a straddle. No, it's uh it's actually the sixty sixty five. So it can finish anywhere, yeah, below sixty five. Yeah. Yep, anywhere below sixty five is good for me. A little over a minute. What I don't need is a rally up to seventy. That would put me right in the valley. Thirty seconds. Come on, get down. Get down get there. Down get it. down there. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Hold. Hold. And there's the bell. 65.33. Right. All right. So I ended up making a little less than a thousand bucks. Probably about nice. 928. Almost 70. Right, oh. yeah. Good day. You got, you got some stones on you for jumping in there with an iron condor after that move. <laughs> nice work. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is Thursday. So tomorrow is Thursday, the 14th. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we will be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers. Peace.